Folks, it's August 12th, 2022, and I'm going to do a little walking tour of Yantic Cemetery in Norwich, Connecticut. Um, according to the sign in front of me, this place was established, this cemetery was established July 12th. 1844. There is a uh, map. No dogs allowed. Hyannick Cemetery. Big history. I mean, if you want to freeze frame the video, I guess you could potentially read everything here. I'm not really sure. But, anyways, I'm going to take a little walk around. Uh, there's some legendary. Norwich families buried here. This is one of the most significant um, I would probably say, yeah, it's one of the two most significant cemeteries definitely in Norwich, but uh, I would say it's probably the most significant when it comes to specific Norwich residents that established this town many years ago. Uh, when we, I'm gonna zoom in on a lot of the headstones and the names on the headstones to get specific uh, views and, you know, kind of a variety of uh, famous Norwich names that you're going to say and I think you'll know what I'm talking about. Charles P. Bushnell right there. Is uh, this gentleman related to the Bushnell Theater in Hartford? Very possible. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to do a random, I mean this is uh, a massive cemetery. I think it's one of the most significant cemeteries in the state of Connecticut, New England, maybe the country. I mean, historically, Case, Case Street in Norwich. I'm just guessing, but I'm pretty sure the name Case on that giant monument is somehow related to the fact that we have a K Street. In Norwich. Carpenter Gear. I'm just reading off some of the names as I walk by. Is it, the further back you go, the more... Uh, I don't want to use the word famous, but the, the more well-known historically uh, important Norwich names will be uh, much more prominent back there. There's a headstone over here that always uh, always kind of blew my mind. The name Johnson. It's, it's a huge slab of stone, right? there. I mean, it's backlit. I hope this, uh, hope this thing's picking it up, but it's, that thing is, that's eight foot high right there. I mean, that's incredible. Let me go to the other side of this. Uh, I gotta get out of the Samuel Hyde Johnson right there. i just get a little quick snap of it. And we got our American flags all over the place in this uh, cemetery because there's a lot of veterans in here. They have metal, I don't know if this is cast iron or whatever. You can zoom in on this thing right here. Um, family plots. You know, back in the, back in the glory days when, you know, people 
pay a lot of attention to Brewster. Now, there's a there's a prominent name for you, Brewster's Neck. Uh, that's the area where Norwich Hospital is. Let's do a slight pan here. Beautiful trees in this uh, in this cemetery. Anyways, let's take a walk. I mean, this is endless. I could go. I could probably spend you know four or five hours in this cemetery, but I'm going to try to get things done. A little more efficiently than four or five hours. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. All right, let's get out of the direct sun. Um. All right, I'm gonna. Th there's just so much. Yeah, I, I, I gotta kind of. I gotta kind of get my bearings here. Okay, there's a. Uh, there's a big monument. In the name Baldwin. It. Let's see what else we got over here. Okay, there's a huge monument. I see Norton, the name Norton off in the distance there. I don't know if that has anything to do with the Norton Village area. In Norwich. Okay, what is this? Charles Osgood, Osgood Street. These are real famous people. I mean, that monument right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we, you know, there's, you, I don't know if you can get a perspective on this. That thing's 30, 35, 40 feet high. It's a gigantic, massive monument. Now, there is a copper, let me see if I can shove this camera in here. See that copper? Let me get over here and get it. A little bit better lighting. I don't know if I can get this thing in there or not, but anyways, between there, that copper figure that's made out of, I believe it's copper or brass, that was stolen a few years ago. And uh, I actually had photographs of it that uh, aided in uh, finding it. I just happened to be up here one day. This fence around it, this big, beautiful, brand new fence wasn't here and apparently people came in the, in the middle of the night and stole this thing and we're, they were going to sell it for scrap but fortunately uh, it was found restored and it's back to its uh, rightful place and in its former uh, and current glorious location I just want to go over here there's a lot of these uh, these monuments, or it's not a headstone. Look at that. I mean, that is uh, that is gorgeous. Now let's see what the name on this one is. This is James Landman Harmer. Okay, it's not a name I'm familiar with, but that doesn't mean anything. Anyways, get a look at that. Very, very nice monument, which is indicative of uh, a lot of the monuments in this uh, Yantic Cemetery in the heart of Norwich, Connecticut. All right, there's another enormous uh, Osgood. I don't know what is that a crypt. I'm not really sure what that's what that would be uh, the designated name for a uh, monument as large as this. I, I would say there's probably some kind of a crypt or Osgood, Henry Osgood. I, it's, you know too many names on there for me to read, but these are all very prominent people who used to live in Norwich, Connecticut and are now obviously deceased. Uh, Coit, Daniel Coit, every name I read off, if somebody actually wanted to take the time and research, they would find these people are uh, 
were once very powerful, powerful members of Norwich society. Edward Whiting, 1777 to 1851. That's an oldie. Mary Mackey, wife of Edward Whiting. Elizabeth Barker. This is a nice one. In loving memory of Fordyce Dwight Barker, only son of Fordyce and Elizabeth Lee Barker. Born Norwich, 1847. There it is. Let's get a let's get a look at this. Again, if you want to freeze the frame, you can read that. The unique view of the Yannick Cemetery. An absolutely gorgeous monument. Let me go way right back here and get that whole thing in. To me, it looks like an Irish um, pattern on that particular monument. I'm certainly no expert on uh, on that type of thing, but that's what it looks like. Okay, Coit, it's another big Norwich name. Coit Monuments. This one, a uh, little unusual. It's kind of a big circle. And it's, it's kind of not empty, but it's not filled with, with tombstones, which is a little unusual. I'm gonna take a walk up here on these stairs. And I'm gonna take a walk back and see what we got for a family name on this thing. Sacred to the memory of Edmund Smith, 1801 to 1862. Um, you know, it'd be interesting to find out the history of Edmund Smith because this is a, uh, a gigantic area, this circle. I mean, if this was done, you know, in modern times, I mean, I... I don't know, financially, you know, as far as like, what, what would that cost to put that in would be, I have no idea, tens of thousands, 100,000, I, I don't know, it'd be off the charts. Averill is the name on this uh, monument. Bliss, Charles Bliss, as in Bliss Jewelers, maybe? I, you know, it's a, it's a very large monument Very large. I would say that is 16 feet, maybe tall, 16 feet. I'm, I'm taking a guess. Huntington, huge name in, uh, in Norwich history. Gilbert Huntington. Harris, Tracy Stevens, Hale. I'm just cranking out the names here as fast as I can. Here's a Here's a name for you, Bacchus, as in Bacchus Hospital. Um, let's, let's hone in on this thing right here, Bacchus. Very difficult to read. Eight, I think it's 1904 to... Hmm, I, it's unreadable. There's uh, some, too much lichen on that, on that particular monument but there's a name last name force f-o-r-c-e interesting here's rallion last name of rallion beautiful monument as you can see right there beautiful again trees and let's pan over a little bit get a, little, get a look at that gorgeous scenery this is arguably one of the nicest, I'm probably repeating myself, one of the nicest cemeteries in New England. B.B. Charles Hamilton B.B. 1844 to 1895. Uh, and family are buried in this plot. Mary Harwood. This is 1850 to 1876. Mary Harwood. 
um, Hewitt, Stanton. We have a Stanton school in Norwich. Are they related? Probably. Do I know that for a fact? No, but I'm assuming. Let's see, Roth, Johnson, William Roth, Mary Williams, um, Levens, Morgan, Nichols, Green, G-R-E-E-N-E, -E -E, Tompkins, another beautiful, right there, dead center, Tompkins. Benjamin W. Tompkins, 1803 to 1892. Incredible. What else do we have here? We have Durfrey, Deering, Ira A. Allen, big giant monument. I mean, it's that thing is, is substantial, okay? It's not, I mean, I have nothing here for perspective, like another person standing next to it, but take my word for it, that thing is huge. Um, McCord, Dillaby, Benjamin Barber, Mary Clark. All right, ooh, here's a neat, really neat little monument. Mary, it's, it's kind of unreadable, unfortunately, but look at that. They have some really gorgeous custom designs, you know, from the 1800s. And this thing, Sarah Griffin Fox, wife of Edwin Tweedy, died, born 1812, died 1835. I mean, I'm, I'm just sweeping up. I don't know if I'm able to really catch the, the actual feel of this thing, but it's, I would say it's 20 feet high. Sturdivant, as in Sturdivant Street is over here. Okay, this is a very interesting, very, this is a must see over here. I've been through this cemetery many times over the years. Okay, what do we have here? Sheldon, huge monument right there. But this is what I was alluding to a minute ago. See that enormous monument right there, Potter. That's the name, P-O-T-T-E-R, Potter. Well, if you go over here, part of the Potter family, take a gander at that right there, Harry Potter. I'm not saying it's the Harry Potter, I'm just pointing out. Gallup is another very prominent family in Norwich. Frederick Lauren Gallup. These are all extreme. This person is probably, let's take a look down here. Sedgwick, D-A-R, I think, Daughters of the American Revolution. Let's see if I can get in there. Uh, it's tough to read. Sedgwick, Posey maybe? I, I, as hard as I try to read that it's difficult due to the fact that it's uh, there is some lichen growing on there and it's difficult to see it all right let's take a little walk down here Bacchus Hospital by the way in the in the distance there you see kind of a big chimney stack that's uh, Bacchus Hospital and this thing right in front of us I'll take a walk up to it in a minute is uh, that gray structure uh, metal building is life star flies out of there Angela Stead or Steed. I'm sorry, Angel or Angel. Angel. Not really sure how to pronounce that. Griswold. Big name. Let's see here. Edmondson Caroli. I mean, this is, I, again, I could spend five hours in here, not even touch anything. Brown. Alis is over the A-L-L-I-S. Alice or Alice. Norton, the Norton family. Carpenter, Carruthers. Sounds like Lifestar might be coming in. That'd be kind of cool. Lorenzo Blackstone. There's a big apartment building in uh, Norwich. Blackstone Apartments. 
my guess is uh, somehow they're related. Also, Emily Norton. Um, again, the Norton family. Let's take a look over here. Beckwith, Smith, Houch, Underwood, Weldon, um, Hastings, Bishop, Russ, Whitmore, Howe. I'm just rattling off the names as I walk by. Phillips, Weller, Kraft, Barlow, Lillibridge, William Bent, Big Monument. I mean, these are these are the founders and the and the and the you know the entrepreneurs in the old days, the the business people. They're putting all which on the map. They're all buried here, or a lot of them are buried here. Let's put it that way. Landman. Wait a minute. Rear Admiral, Rear Admiral Clarence Alfred Carr, United States Navy, 1856 to 1930. Rear Admiral Carr, very significant. Beautiful red, white, and blue wreath on top of that monument right there. Okay, let's... Let's take a walk over here. What other names do we have here? Fuller, Fillmore, Pitcher, Beardow, um, Albert, Steed, all right, Wilcox, Hyde. Okay, this is going to take forever pike let me i'm going to i'm going to zip down to another area here hawkins adams hull h u l l um mershon kingston lanman Stevens, let's see, Barker, Wilson, Jones. Wait a minute. Frank Woodworth. Right there. It's endless. Marks, M A R X. Let's see, what are the names we have here? Lathrop, that's a big Norwich name. Um, it's a big name, period, historically. Rebecca Holmes, Frederick Brewer, Palmer again, Witter, Dubois, Brewer. McCottrell, oh, Cottrell, okay. There's a Cottrell Street somewhere in Norwich. Okay, let's see, Chapman, Hinkley, Rice, Gould, Carpenter again, quite a few Carpenters, Higgins, Chase, there's a cool monument, let's take a walk over there, get a side shot of this, uh, it's just a very simple, You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call that ostentatious or anything like that. I would just say it's a very elegant, simple monument. And who does that belong to? What is the name? What is the family name? Zoe. Zoe A. Wife of Benjamin Bate. Age 34 years. Oh, Bates. Okay, well, probably another prominent knowledge name, as far as I know. There used to be something called Bates Woods, but that was in New London, but I guarantee if you look up Bates in the history of Norwich, 
it's going to mean something big. Again, Bacchus Hospital way in the background. Let's see, Plumber, Holden, I'm just reading off last names, Van Cott, Crosby, Blackstone again, Brown, Maynard. Um, Lucas, Greenwood, Pease, Richards, Welty, Hovey, Green, uh, Greenworth, okay, Hutchinson, Coit, Alger, ooh, there's a, okay, there's a monument and a half right there, that's, that's a, that's a big money monument right there. Whoever, uh, whoever had that put in, I mean, just from a strictly financial standpoint, had some, had some real cash on hand when they, when they purchased this monument directly in front of us. It looks to be an, an angel with a star on her head, on a pedestal, and it's underneath says Charles G. C. Alger, born July 4th, 1809, died July 13th, 1874. Let's go right up to this thing. Okay, Alger. And right smack up to the top of the gigantic monument. Okay, Vaughn, Barker, Mason, Clark, Boone, uh, Whitaker, William H. Mason. Okay, I mean, again, these names. There's a lot of birds off in the distance. I think they're, they're little, well, they're not crows, but whatever. There, there's probably hundreds of them. Vaughn, okay, let's see. We did one. Lad, Dennis. If I'm missing your family or something, I'm sorry. There's just thousands of monuments everywhere. So this is the Dennis family plot right there. Big headstone in the back with smaller ones in the front, but they're all beautiful. This person's name in front of me was Daniel Tree. Okay, what else do we have here? Locke, Moorhead, Stanton, Hiscox, Brown, Dixon. Uh, there's a Civil War veteran, Albert Brooks, in front of me. Miller. I like those two headstones right there. Just simple, big. I mean, when I, they're, when I use the term simple, they're not, you know. These are Brewster and Park. Okay, let's get a look at this one on the ground here. It's Eliza Park, wife of Charles A. Robinson, 1833 to 1909. Um, Gleason, McCord, boy, an old tree stump of what used to be a gigantic tray is kind of rotting away there. As I walk around, Barnes, Foster, Cheeseboro, that's a, that's a big name. That'll probably be silhouetted in the sun. That big giant monument right there is Cheese, Cheeseboro, Chesboro, Chesboro, or Ch Chesboro, I think. Bedent, Spicer, Burdict, Morgan. Um, ooh, beautiful. Another uh, statue, I would call it a statue. This looks like Armstrong down here. Miller slash Corey. Let's get a look at that. Absolutely beautiful monument. The lighting right on there, gorgeous. There's another statue down here. Yeah, this is, okay, there's Barbers down here, Mosher, Gregson, Lillian May Underwood, wife of 
Will S. Spaulding. That beautiful... Let's get close to this statue. That beautiful, beautiful statue right there. Lillian May Underwood, wife of Will S. Spaulding. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Havens. See, a lot of times they'll have like this big monument, Gregson. Then they will have mother, father, and this one, this person, Lizzie, could be a child. Uh, here's another one, Havens. Big, huge monument. Then we come down here. Father. Mother. Our Grace, the child. Klein. Let's see, what else do we have here? Engler. Bogue. Here's a huge... I don't know, I call it a crypt. Whatever, you know, I don't know the technical name for it. Uh, the name on it is Chapman. It's got a really cool handle. I hope this uh, camera can pick it up. Look at that, look at the handle on that thing. It's like a little fist. Anyways, cement. Gigantic. Monument, or crypt. Alright, what are the names? Willis. Alright, this is an area of some form of, maybe, Civil War. Monument, you know, veterans because there's flags everywhere. Let's see what it says. Um, died 1910. Okay, let me, let me take a look. I want to walk around. There's a cannon over there. It's kind of a beautiful uh, circular pattern of monuments. Civil War, James Turner, for example, right? There is kind of typical of what's here the beautiful flowing American flag and somebody maintains and cares for this uh, very very carefully and beautifully because it's gorgeous the way they uh, keep these monuments and these flags I mean uh, honoring the veterans of the Civil War and there's a lot of these uh, these metal what does that say um, post I'm having trouble reading it, but it's uh, it's Civil War related. Oh, look at this. This uh, gentleman right here, James McDavid, died in Andersonville. I mean, that's uh, that's very significant. I looked that up on the I, uh, that bears uh, research. Andersonville. That's a legendary, uh, horrific. Place. Okay, let's historically a significant place. Here is a cannon. I'm assuming it's a replica or maybe it's the real thing. Right there. What does it say on the side? RPP. Right there. Hopefully this thing can, can pick that up. Wait a minute. There might be a plaque over here. Let me uh, take a look. There's that cannon. The plaque, once upon a time in Norwich, nine victims of the, of the Civil War were reinterred in this circle. Their stones are marked Andersonville. So yeah, it's a long explanation here, but Andersonville is a significant uh, Civil War. Historically significant Civil War. Um, I don't know if it was a prison or, you know, prison slash hospital. There's a York right there. Um, trying to read some of the names. These are real old, like this white monument hill on it. This person was, I believe, died in 1872, right? That big giant monument right there. Let's see some of the other names in this area. But 
it's it's worth coming down here the, the history is just dripping from every every inch of this uh, of this cemetery there's some really really prominent people buried in here believe me or well-known people Rose Austin Adam family is in there okay let's whip around over here okay we have some more this is a more military picture Hiscox Melbourne Melboni David Cahoon Spanish American War interesting okay another Spanish American War okay so these this gentleman died at age 42 Theodore Turner Spanish in the Spanish American War more Spanish American War yeah this whole thing there's a good uh, representation right there Spanish American War Michael Scanlon he died at age 84 lived a good life okay I'm just gonna walk right through the heart of this thing this set this beautiful cemetery I mean I'm on hallowed grounds right now folks Wheeler this one is old Levon Levi R. Wheeler died June 1st 1873 age 42 interesting Gale Dunham there's a Dunham Street in Norwich I'm gonna have to assume that's related Harris okay I'm just whipping out the last names Kingsley Ames there's an Ames Plaza in all which I assume it has something to do with it I have to assume that there's another gorgeous tree I'm gonna sweep up it just shows you the some of the beauty in this uh, in this Yannick Cemetery in Norwich Connecticut it's it's absolutely stunning it really is if you've never been here take a drive down I mean it's if you're into history you'll be you'll have a field day it'll take you you'll have to make multiple trips I see Stott I see Burton I see Champlin let's see Higgins and Kingsley again another Huntington all right let's keep walking I mean how much look at that gorgeous tree. I don't know the it's just simply one of the most beautiful historically important cemeteries I've ever set foot in in my entire life okay period what are the names here McCulver Converse Witter let's see Cryer Gulver all right let's keep going I'll walk down I'm gonna walk down the other side of this thing in order for me to do like a completely totally comprehensive um, there's a couple of beautiful monuments right there side by side Elizabeth Williams wife of Thomas Mitchell and right next to her is Thomas Mitchell he died at age 69 in 1866 looks like a family plot here it's huge another big monument down here and it's chapel the name on it is chapel I'm gonna do a backlit that's kind of a beautiful view of that of that monument here's another nice one I, again this I could go forever Sterry Carolyn a Sterry right there that's the monument for Carolyn Sterry As we walk down, let's see, Sutliff is another name over there. Moore, Harris. Let's see, James Hyde. James Hyde. 
died at age 54 in 1863. Claire Barber back there. A couple of beautiful monuments right in front of me. There's an interesting, this one, this monument over here, let's take a walk over here. Carew is another one. These monuments right there, there's two of them. They're, they're kind of, uh, I use the term fancy. The other ones are kind of a minimalist design. This one is a real, let's, let's sweep up this uh, monument here. This uh, really huge, beautiful monument. The name on it is Mary Porter, wife of C.G. Morgan, died in 1848 at 52 years of age. And then there's another one, Williams down here. It's a similar, um, I would say it's a similar design configuration than uh, the one we just looked at, which is, again, it's unusual for this cemetery because this uh, cemetery has a tendency to be on the minimalist or the, the more, uh, you know, simple design, a piece of granite carved into a, into a monument. In other words, let's, let's give you a good, good example of what I'm talking about. This one right here. Um, it's right next to this big, beautiful tree. This one is uh, Sarah, wife of Ebenezer Car Carew, died in 1845. But see that monument? It comes to a point and it's, it's slightly tapered in. That's very typical of this cemetery. Or it's probably the era that, maybe that was the style or whatever back in, in those years, I don't know. But if you look down, for example, if you take a, a look down this wide view right here, they're very similar in, uh, in design. So those real fancy ones back there is, is kind of a departure from uh, what you normally would see in the cemetery. Again, let's do a wide shot. This is the opposite direction. And they're very similar. Take a walk up this way. There's a road in front of me. It's gravel. It's real nice. I think this is recently uh, recently repaired. I, I, I have a tendency to think back that there was a lot of potholes and things here a couple of years ago. I think the city came in and did a beautiful job of fixing it up. Bingham. A couple of monuments right there. B-I-N-G-H-A-M. Bingham. Right next to that is Clark. Um, I mean, somebody put flowers on this Clark monument. And this person died in uh, 1889. Okay, Spanish-American War. James Clark, right there, died at age 56. Let's hone in on this thing. USA. Spanish War veteran, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Philippine Islands. There's a little history in this place. Uh, this incredible cemetery is filled with history. Martha Prince, Lafayette S. Foster. Here's a beautiful. Let's get a, this, you know, the camera, I'm shooting this stuff, folks, and you know, it is what it is, and you're looking at it and everything, but boy. Take my word for it. Look how beautiful this thing is. And this is gigantic. This is somebody by the name of jo jo Joanna Stone. Lafayette Forster. And a big tomb right there. Martha Prince. Okay, what else do we have here? William N. Robbins died in 1900. All right. Let's take a short cruise over to this. This is interesting. This is just a big giant slab of, you know, granite or marble or whatever it's made out of. Henry, let's see. 
William Henry Huntington, born in Norwich in 1820, died in Paris, 1886. I hope that's visible. That's an interesting, uh, it's just an interesting stone. I mean, look at the size. I, again, I hope, you're, hope this uh, camera's doing this justice as far as the perspective, because it's, that's seven feet high right there. Let's take a walk back here. Tracy, let's see, Brewster, a lot of Brewsters in here. All right, here's another one of these fenced in uh, kind of family plot configurations that we have here. Right there, as you can see, the, the beautiful, let me, let me hone in on some of this uh, the work on this um, fencing. Again, this would be probably, I would assume, cast iron or something. This is David Smith, was born in 1796, died 1873. Another name back there, Strong. Okay, I gotta take a slight detour over here to this very interesting looking uh, monument. It looks like a tree with the branches cut off. Let me sweep up. That is at least 20 feet tall. The name on it is E.A. Bill. Okay, so. That's, a, that's another monument that kind of stands out from the crowd as far as from a design perspective. Here's one, Rawson, R-A-W. S-O-N. This is, I'm at the back. If I went, if I kept walking down that hill, I'd hit the Yannick River. There's some really big monuments right here, way in the back of the cemetery. Rogers, Loveland, again, just reading off names. What's this? This is kind of a, kind of a pretty looking, uh, the name on that is Hubbard died in 1868. Hubbard. Loveland. What do we have here? Waterman. Right there. Big monument. Again, indicative of the other monuments I showed you earlier. Um, this one looks like it's suffered some damage. It might have broke off from the top. I don't know if there's another downed monument. I don't know if that's vandalism or age or weather or I don't know. Okay, look at this. There's a child. Monument of a little baby sleeping on top of a tombstone. Interesting. Hard to read some of them because again the uh, age and the weather conditions over the years, but these are crystal clear right here. Look at that. This is a big family plot. It's a huge area, but there's only four monuments. I don't know if, yeah, you can, let me center this thing up right there. Um, wow. Elizabeth is the last name there. Green, Benjamin Green, William Green, and sacred to the memory of Elizabeth Green, born in Boston, 1824, died in Bordeaux, France. So. This person was born in Boston, died in France, and is buried in Norwich, Connecticut. Let's take a quick look off the back here. Um, hmm. Yeah, the river's... <laughs> I don't want to trip because I'll, I'll literally end up in the river, but if you can see down there, straight ahead, is kind of a, a beautiful scene. It's a, a very low Yannick River due to the drought we've been experiencing, but there it is. It's it's right at the furthest back end of this uh, incredible Yantic Cemetery. Beautiful, beautiful cemetery. Perkins, okay, I'm in the, it looks like the Perkins family plot back here. Uh, another Irish, uh, to me, appears to be like an Irish, I don't know the technical name for a pattern of that type, but it's Irish. 
as far as I as far as I know. Witter, Parker, Avery. These are these are big names in uh, Norwich history and Connecticut history and in American history. Rogers, let's see what else. Crispert, Lewis, uh, Alexander, more Rogers, Gordon, Muller, Welch, Marcy. Okay, I'm going to go around the furthest edge. Let's see, O'Brien, Moon, James, Jack. World War One. Lewis C. Allen. Somebody's nice enough to put a flag there. This person lived to be 75 years old. This gentleman. And he died in uh, 1961. Kubler is a name I see over there. Addy Andrews. Ramage, Brown, Rathburn. All right, let's do a wide shot. Get some more of those beautiful trees in here. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? The beauty of this uh, incredible cemetery. All right, here's another, you know, Bacchus. Bacchus Hospital, okay? It doesn't get much more prominent than, than Bacchus. Loomis. Lamphere. Bennett. Wilson. King. A.D. Allen. Rathbone. Hempstead. Oh, somebody riding a bicycle. Barlow. Back here, there's some interesting uh, stones. Barlow. Okay, wife of Albert. Let's see, what do we have here? Abby Jordan, wife of Al Albert Briggs. This looks like a relatively new, I mean, more modern than the other ones. Although uh, there are some very old, very old stones in there, but the one dead center is, you know, 1930, so more of the modern era. Wow, there's a sole tiny monument back here. Let's take a look. This is as far as it goes. The train tracks are back here. There's a motorcycle in the background. I don't know if we can pick this up or not. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get right in on this thing. It looks like A. Vogel. Um, I believe this person died in 1902. It's a little teeny tiny small micron compared to the other monuments. But it's no less significant. So yeah, the train tracks. Let's dial this thing back a little bit. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Hopefully this camera can pick this up. Right there are the train tracks. So this uh, cemetery borders on on a river and a in uh, a large section of train tracks. Okay, unfortunately, there's another downed um, monument. You don't see too many. I well, actually, there's a couple here. Something might have happened. I don't know. I don't know what you know what made that unfortunate situation. Maybe somebody will take care of that. I would assume they would. Okay, let's see. Let me work my way down. Get some more names. Bryce. Um, Ives. David Walters. Okay, here's another one of those metal. All right. Another child on top of a small monument, a little baby. The name on this, in this little enclosed area, the last name is James. Yeah, 
you know, in this section of the of the uh, cemetery, unfortunately, I'm seeing I'm seeing more downed um, monuments. I don't I I, I don't know if it's vandal. I, I I can't attribute it to vandalism. I don't know that, but I don't know. It seems in one concentrated area, there seems to be a lot of downed monuments, unfortunately. I hope it's something other than vandalism, because knocking over monuments, I mean, that's about as low as it gets. Let's see, what names do we have here? Um, hmm, i got to get right up to this one. Hmm. Let me go around here. George, I believe it's, it says Children of Mary Babcock. Okay. I could, I could go on forever. I just, I don't, I'm doing a, I'm, this is a quick run through of a, there's another gigantic monument. And the name on that is Taft, David Taft. Let's walk over here to another beautiful tree, which this uh, Yannick Cemetery is filled with. I am not an expert on this uh, on this cemetery. I've walked through it so many times in my life. This is a beautiful little picturesque seeing here this flag the tree in the background I and mean, it's kind of you know it's a beautiful kind of a beautiful scene in this beautiful cemetery but I'm, I'm not an expert i don't they give tours i know that for a fact where a historian will take you around and, and tell you all about the famous people that are buried in here and the senators and the generals and there might be a vice president in here. I don't know. I, I, you know, you hear things, but look at this nice little. It's like a, like a cat angel monument. It goes on and on and on. Let's see, Carter. Let me read off some of the names. Samuel, Horatio, son of Martha Bliss. We have Bliss Jewelers. Lafayette Street is over there. Hartley. More beautiful flowers in the middle of this uh, cemetery. This Yannick Cemetery. Some people walking. I don't want to get in their way. Let's see here. Douglas Sweet. Alice Sweet. All right, what else? What other names? I, I mean, I could go Bushnell again. Denison, Moore, Utley. There's a pharmacy right down the ro road, Utley and Jones. I bet anything it's related. Okay, there's another tree trunk. Kind of an interesting... Uh, design again compared to the other more austere this one is William H Sears he died 49 years of age right there but it's a it appears to be a tree trunk um, with kind of a scrolled out document with the husband and wife wife's name on it. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, here's another kind of an important has to be important. It's a huge area. Palmer Bill. Sarah Maria Brown. Born 1826, died 1908. And there's another big Bill monument. I gotta sweep up, it's so big. The beautiful clouds in the sky 
you know, I'm kind of back to where we we started this thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a big panoramic view. Here's the entrance. It's the way we came in right here. Uh, off of Lafayette Street in Norwich, Connecticut. I highly recommend you come on and check it out. Again, these big, you know, this, this gate. Get a look at the, uh, the design of that. I don't know if it's Victorian era. I have no idea. I, I, I don't even want to guess, but I'm going to try to get out here a little bit and see if I can get a sweeping panoramic. There's a beautiful wall it goes all around this thing, it's incredible. But there is a real wide shot. And there's Lafayette Street to the right. There's a real wide shot. And let me see if I can get different areas. I'm shooting into the sun here. Hopefully this thing can, uh, this thing can compensate for that. This camera, I probably can. Beautiful Yannick Cemetery. Let's get right down to the ground here. This gate closes at night so people can't come in on these big cement. There's a wheel when they close the gate. There's a shot of the big metal wheels. All right, let me get a panoramic of this side here. For a second, take a shot over here. I covered a lot of territory today, folks. I didn't do, I, I did not do this uh, gorgeous Yannick Cemetery justice, but I did maybe scratch the surface a little bit. I strongly encourage you to come down, take a walk around, and discover some of the most amazing monuments and tombstones and families and names and history that you're that you're ever going to see it's just it's mind-blowing to me let me end this thing with one beautiful wide shot of one section of the cemetery with those beautiful trees and the beautiful sky in the background thanks for joining me folks